Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula and this is Paula MJ's Place. If you're new here, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, oh, my nose is itchy, sorry. Please consider subscribing. Uh, if you're a current subscriber, welcome back. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you so very, very much. Don't forget if you enjoy my videos, please uh, thumbs up. And, <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I'm just like distracted by my eye here. It's getting better, but it's still, I've been wearing sunglasses in the store, wherever I go. So I went to the Dollar Tree um, a couple of times this week, and yeah, there's not much there. I will be having a Dollar Tree walkthrough, a short one, um, but I only get a f got a few things at Dollar Tree. I did film some stuff that I didn't buy, um, but since it's so small, I'm going to combine my Hobby Lobby um, haul with this just because it'll be a, a little better and I don't know if you've seen my Hobby Lobby walkthrough but if you haven't I'll try to link it in the description box below so um and it'll probably appear up here somewhere when the video is done so that you can uh, go back and watch that if you want okay so um if you hear <laughs> yeah it's another thing I wanted to say if you hear any noise like banging and whatnot unfortunately I can't control that it's we had high winds and our back fence fell so they're going to be fixing it yeah it was it's rainy so much rain which is fine we needed it but the wind was bad it knocked down our fence and a few of the neighbors too so anyway let's get to the hobby lobby haul um i think i got more stuff at hobby lobby than i did at the dollar tree anyway um so i got some paper Usually they have it on sale like every other week. Craft paper or whatever you want to call it. I'm just looking for the price here. The paper was like, um, well, I can tell you the price, but it was 40% off. The first one I got was this one. I thought it was really pretty for Easter. That is beautiful. And this is, I believe, 12 by 12. And it's 69 cents. So 40% um, off is, I'm just trying to find it here. Yeah, so they were um, twenty. They were a dollar sixty-four for four of these, and I'll show you the other designs. I didn't get them all the same. So then this is cute. These are the gnomes for St. Patrick's Day, and that was it's normally sixty-nine cents. Oh, that's what it says on the back. And then they had Christmas ones. I got those two. Of course, not for now, but. If you craft, you can craft with these. And they're just really, really cute. <laughs> and that's 69. And then the Valentine gnomes, I thought those were really cute too. And, and these are all 12 by 12. So that's that. I did find, um, some pampas grass. So I, the pampas grass, believe it or not, they have different uh, lengths and whatnot. The biggest one they have is $16.99 per piece of grass. They had them on sale for $10, I think 40% off. They're huge. I got three of them. I already put them up. They're very light. They're lighter than this. So I needed one more and it didn't look, it looked too white. So I needed something a little more on the brown side. Um, so I got this one, but this one isn't as big as the others. This one is smaller and it's $5.99. This one was not on sale. It's just $5.99. This is the his and hers. So it's the wedding, um, part of the wedding collection. And they have regular one for, so they, I saw three different uh, prices and styles. So this one's $5.99. When it goes on sale, usually 40% off. It just wasn't, but I needed this right now to fill in my vase. Um, they have one for $7.99, which has like purple and green and whatnot, but the purple didn't go with what I already had. So I got this darker brown. It's really pretty. And it's, I mean, it's not short. Let me try to measure it with my ruler. See if I can find my ruler. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so that's 12, 24. 
So it's 36 all the way to the top with the stem. Now the ones I got are huge. They're probably double that size. I had to bend the stem and you can't even cut it. I had to use a saw to cut it. So I cut the first one and I thought, why am I doing that? What if I want to put it somewhere else? So I just bent the other two like this so then I can always bend them back if I need them taller. This one is too short so I'm just going to stick it in some foam and put it in with the others. But it just is the perfect little accent because the other ones are lighter. So yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know I probably want, want to get to the Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> I'm just throwing this in there. Okay, so then another thing I got was this. This is just like a little round, I don't even know what you call it, floral accent. It was $4.99. This was not on sale. But I got this just to see how it would look on my um, 99 cent little thingies I got. I, sh I think I showed you these last week. So they were like grayish and all nasty. I painted them... Um, I think it's colored ivory from ivory, ivory or linen. I think it's ivory from uh, Waverly chalk paint. I already got my pool noodles because I was going to put flowers in there, but I'm going to try this instead. They look so much better painted. So I'm going to stick one in here. Whoops, just like that. I probably put like a little skewer in it and stick it in there. I think that's going to look really, really cute. Or in one of the, in this one. I, or I might just make my own, but now that I can, you know, have like a little pattern for it. I think that's going to look really nice. Okay. And then let me put this over here. And then next, I got a few other things. Let's see. I got this. This was $5.49 on sale. It says Rise and Grind. And it's just one of these. Now this, I think I'm going to put it on the base. Not this particular one, but I'm going to make one that has the pompous grass, just kind of around the neck of the, the vase. So yeah, but this one's gonna go on my chair tray, rise and grind. I don't have a cricket, otherwise I can make my own. I guess I could always do like, you know, rub on transfers or stickers, but lately I just don't have the time or the ambition. I thought that was really pretty. And then, um. I got this. Oh, where's my receipt? I need to be telling you that. So that was five forty nine, um, and yeah, for that this is, I already told you the price on the other two, and then I got another receipt for this bag. Here it is. Sorry, I'm so disorganized. So this one was five forty nine, so which actually was three twenty nine because it's forty percent off. So this says, one cross and three nails equals forgiven. You know, me and my crosses. So I don't have one that says that. Like, you know, I can always make one, but will I? I don't have a cricket, so I'm not that. And even if I did, I'm just not that ambitious to try to figure it out, guys. I see people on YouTube all the time saying, oh, I have a cricket. I got it for Christmas two years ago. I haven't even opened it yet. That would be me. Now, in my earlier days, I would just like jump on that. Now I just can't be bothered. Okay, sorry for the noise. I got a few things that have to be wrapped. Oh, can I just rip the Okay, this is going to be also Easter and it was $6.49, so it's actually um, $3.89. Twenty percent off, forty percent off, six forty. So this says he is risen. It's Easter, but I mean that looks that looks okay. You know, it's pretty and everything, but it lights up. That's what got me. And then it has like a cross or something in there. I couldn't tell. See that? Maybe with the camera. I don't know. It's really nice. I like that a lot. I don't know if it says the size on here. I'm going to turn it off. This is actually a gift. Because I got one for myself. But um, Easter Electric Novelty. No, it doesn't say. So that's what that is. And there. So I thought that was just beautiful. When it lights up. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to put this over here without breaking it. And then, oh, this is so cute. I finally got the Easter tree. 
finally they have like a green with blue sorry about that noise and then they have a pink too I got green with blue this is 649 so it's also going to be um 40 percent off what I said was 329 389 so that's so cute led light up tree it doesn't say how big it is but it lights up as well so I'll pull this thing out see that so cute it's hard to see turn that off I got I got a thing for trees now I'll put that back on there okay and then I got a pink one I don't, yeah that's, that's my last thing it's a pink one oh no I got a couple more things sorry about the noise there's a pink one how cute! Cute, cute, cute. Like it. <laughs> and then that one lights up too. Can't really tell on the top that it's lit up, but it is. It's just. And these are. Let's see if I can measure them. From top to bottom, they're five inches. I thought that was really cute. Okay. Back there. And then I got a few craft, a couple of just crafting crosses. I saw these the first time I went. I didn't buy them, but I bought them this time. These were not on sale. They're just 99 cents each. It's from the wood pile. Easter wooden cross, laser wooden cross. And this is bigger than the Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar Tree has those like three or four pack of them. I think they're kind of particle, not particle board, but some kind of paper. These, I think, it says wood. These are wood. And this is going to be um, four, about four and a quarter inches from the longest part, and then the shorter side to side is three and a half. So I got that one. And then I also got this one, also 99 cents. Did I show that up really close? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to finagle things here. Now now I'm going to put this on, on the Dollar Tree solid wooden cross in the front of it because I'm going to make like, I already made, um, what do you call it, one of those tassel thingies. But a huge one with huge um, beads and I put it on the fireplace over there. But the, the, the tap, part of the thing is the cross, but I got to use this on it. I think that's really pretty too. I might use the, the other design, but... I mean, 99 cents can't beat that, the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree is actually really disappointing me. The sodas went up to $1.75. Sorry about the noise again. I hear that they're going to have all different prices in the store. Like, not just the, the plus, but higher than that. Um, let me stop with that while I talk. I also hear that within the next couple of weeks, um, you'll be able to get a refund with your receipt. You know how they don't allow, if you want to take something back, um, you can only exchange it for something else. You can't get, a, can't get your money back or credit on your credit card. They're going to be changing their receipts to say um, you can get your money back with the receipt. So I don't know if that's true. I've heard it through the grapevine. So that's a plus, but other than that, you know, today I went to the Dollar Tree, sorry, and I passed by a Dollar General, and it wasn't open yet, because I went like before before 8, and I thought, man, I should just stop here and see, and I didn't, but I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to be shopping other places from now on, because I'm kind of disappointed. You know, they keep raising the prices, and, you know, right, like, they don't even say anything. So I went to the store today, $1.75 for the, for the Cokes. The sodas, I mean, cheese. So yeah, I mean the plus things I think are not bad for the price. I haven't bought anything from the plus section yet because nothing's really, you know, attracted me. You know, I been, haven't been attracted to it. And of course, the prices are pretty good there. But other than that, I'm just kind of just disapp truly disappointed. I mean, I love the Dollar Tree. I'll still shop there for you, even if I don't buy anything. I'll go and do walkthroughs, but I'm kind of disappointed. So yeah, enough with that though. I still love the Dollar Tree. It's the thrill of the hunt, you know. <laughs> okay. 
sporting stuff first. I needed some clips. I don't know where our clips go. Every time I need one, it's not in the drawer. I have no idea where it is. And I go looking in the cupboard and everything's got a clip on it. I'm just going to have to find storage instead of doing that with the clips. Anyway, I found this one. Um, this is kind of a medium size. There's three in, in the pack. So we'll give that a shot. I don't know how good these are. I mean, they seem okay. They had a pack of six, but those very little ones that have the magnet on it. I didn't need the little ones. I needed the medium size ones. So I got these. Um, also hangers. The guys like these hangers. I don't know where their hangers go, but they're always needing more hangers. I'm trying to hurry so you don't have to listen to that noise. Um, repeat purchase is this tinted rose oil lip balm. Evidently, this is like it, it's gone viral. Um, I think on TikTok. I don't have TikTok anymore, but um, that's what I hear. Instagram was and Facebook, they were saying it's gone viral. So it, this I've had this since last year. I have one or two, but I don't know where I did with them. What I did with them, so I got another one. This is that Be Pure Tinted Rose Oil Lip Balm. Go from clear to your unique lip color. So it, mo it mostly turns hot pink on people, but I've seen people where it doesn't turn as, as hot pink as... So I'm wearing it today. I had one. Uh, I have one in my stash, but then I try. I put one in my purse, and somewhere else I lost those. So I got this one for a backup. They have a cherry color too that is actually it's actually red. This is clear and it changes. I have that one as well. I enjoy using that one. Whoops. <laughs> and then I found this pen. I think I've seen it on other people's channels, but today I found it on in my Dollar Tree. This is the Flower Glow pen. I mean, I don't need another pen, but it's so cute. It's got little flowers in there. You'll see this in the walkthrough too. Like, I don't know. Do they move? Yeah, they move around in there. So they had this silver one. I think that, I know they had a gold one. I don't remember what the other color what is, but. Okay, and then. I'm hurrying. That noise is irritating, I know. I found a couple more of the um, Hey Humans. Actually, I found the lavender and whatever that other flavor uh, scent is. I left it there. It, I am not a fan of that. And I see a lot of people that are not fans of that scent either. So, I don't know. I smelled it and left it there. It was the body wash. But I did find the apple matcha. Matcha? So that smells really good, like apples. Ooh, this one's kind of bent over here. It's a little... I don't know, I just grabbed it. I smelled it and I grabbed two of these. This is the body wash. Now, I didn't find any body lotion at all except for that banana one. So I only found one. It smells so good. It's nice. So, um, yeah, apple matcha banana. I mean banana body wash. And it is a um, six, uh, 14 ounces. I found this at the Dollar Tree, the big one I went to last week that I hadn't been to in a very long time. I headed there first today because it's a sketchy neighborhood, so I wanted to be there when it opened. And they had, didn't have much. They were stocking, but I did find these. So I got two of the apple. And then I got another one of the coconut mint. I'm really I'm using that right now, and I'm really enjoying that scent. My whole shower, like my bathroom, smells like this after I use it. It smells really good. It's a very pleasing scent, in my opinion. Now, we all, some people don't like, you know, certain smells. I think, for me, this smells good. Now, the lavender, I mean, it's okay. I, I don't mind the lavender scent that much. I'm not that much of a fan, but that didn't, that smelled like something strange. It was lavender, and I don't even remember, but I, it'll be in the walkthrough. Anyway, um, that is it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about the noise. Hopefully um, you could still hear me and you know not be distracted by that. Um, hopefully when next time I do a video, my eye will be better. It doesn't even want to open all the way. I was having trouble with it before, but now it's like noticeably like smaller. It won't open all the way. I don't know, I gotta get that checked, but it's like I just had my eye checked. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I will be uploading a walkthrough, a Dollar Tree walkthrough as well. Um, 
either tomorrow or in the day after, I'm not very sure. Um, and I'm going to be trying to go um, to different stores for you and then maybe doing walkthroughs or hauls or whatever. Um, probably more walkthroughs than hauls because it's not, you know, a lot of these stores are not Dollar Tree prices so you can't really buy. <laughs> I can't really buy that much. It's not in my budget. But anyway, I'll do my best. And I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I'm almost to 2,500 subscribers, so when I get there, I will be doing a giveaway. So continue to watch, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate you all so very much. Don't forget to watch um, because I don't have hours yet, enough hours to monetize. So watch all the way through if you can. And then, um, again, I appreciate you all. I hope you all have a good, um, what's today, Wednesday? Hope you all have a good rest of the week and weekend. And for those of you that watch the Super Bowl, uh, good luck to whatever team you're cheering for. <laughs> Thank you so much. Until um, next time, be well and be blessed.